What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Dan Trachtenberg's Prey aka Predator 5 which is releasing tomorrow I guess on Hulu. Uh, the embargo is lifted so this will be my review for it. This is again directed by Dan Trachtenberg. It's written by Patrick Eisen and it stars Amber Midthunder, Dakota Beavers, Dame Digital. D. Leguero, Stormy Kip, Michelle Thrush, Julian Black Antelope. Now, this movie is revolving around a character named Naru. We are set 300 years in the past, uh, so it's a prequel. It's one of the, it, it would be the very first one in the series thus far, going off the timeline now with this one. It's in the Comanche Nation in 1719. A fierce and highly skilled warrior again named Naru learns the prey she's stalking is a highly evolved alien with the technologically advanced arsenal so i will say this this approach worked for me for the most part the stuff about it being better than the original that i've seen online i don't know where that's coming from if you feel like that that's fine i i don't feel like that about this movie um the only thing i can see maybe is that maybe there's some aspects about naru that just make her a better character to root for over what we had in the original with arnold and all those other commandos so prey has a vibe to it where throughout the movie it just builds to this 1v1 that you know is coming and when it happens or when it happens it's a very satisfying and entertaining battle between naru and the predator uh, a battle that again we know is coming it's not a spoiler so as far as how that approach is handled i really liked that and i thought it was handled tremendously well we're constantly being shown all the strengths of the opponent naru is going to have to face while we also see naru struggle and also see some of her strengths that could help her later on during this battle so that's not to, that's not to say that again just because it builds to this satisfying conclusion that that this movie doesn't have some hiccups along the way so for starters the dialogue is quite repetitive in terms of how people talk to naru naru's vocabulary seems far superior to anyone around her because it just seems like all they're able to do is tell her how she's not ready or that um she she can't do this she can't do that and it's like i understand why the dialogue is there but it gets to the point where it's like i don't need to be sold on this idea anymore i get it these people don't think she's ready but me as a viewer and all of you guys that watch this movie should have faith in her capabilities even though there are several instances that will make you doubt her abilities but you'll end up admiring the desire to keep trying that's in her because she has a never say die attitude which makes her a very likable character also i'll add that i can see where some might find the dialogue to be unrealistic considering the setting that we're based in naru is pretty much the only notable character that has any development honestly as mentioned countless occurrence occurrences highlight she she cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the predator so it's not going out of its way to make you think that she can go into a fist fight with the predator the predator is definitely established as the alpha which i know many of you will like there's the instance that we already see in the trailers with the bear and then there's another where her brother has to carry her home afterwards so she's not established as someone who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the predator thus how can she be a threat to the predator right that's what many people are going to think well again naru has a few other skills that will assist her later on again i'm not going to spoil it she again is the only notable character with proper development as everyone around her only exists to add to the kill count but it's all for the best when considering the phenomenal choreography that's featured throughout the movie the action is easy to follow and the editing as a whole only makes it better honestly the breath the, the the action in this movie if you're someone who followed me on twitter you already saw what i put it is very breathtaking and it is very phenomenal in terms of how uh, it's done in a way that it makes it easy to follow. It never becomes incoherent. A lot of movies, when you get to the editing of the action sequences and certain brawls, the action becomes difficult to follow. It's incoherent about who's who, especially depending on how certain people are dressed. But Prey has some amazing uh, choreography and fight sequences and just overall great action that a lot of people are going to latch on to. So I do wish the pacing was a bit slowed down, but it works overall for the most part since it's engaging from start to finish. Trachtenberg is able to effectively spend time building tension and suspense constantly throughout. And there's always this feeling of dread and looming danger over the movie. Once the predator arrives, the camera work is definitely working overtime to make sure you're locked in and surveying the surroundings for the predator who is mostly cloaked for a lot of the movie. And again, I like this because it's a plot device. It acts as a source of that 
suspense that's constantly building to the inevitable design reveal which for the most part i also say i was a fan of the design uh truthfully though i don't see that the cgi in this movie is going to age very well the abundance of cgi animals that just aren't believable or quite laughable honestly and i do want to jump back to the dialogue really quick just to say that it doesn't beat you over the head with a men bad women good narrative but the but the men i would say yes are shown to be quite idiotic in this movie everyone outside of naru really is depicted as as an idiot <laughs> just to be honest um and again as far as like i didn't talk about this but performances are pretty one note as well outside of amber mid thunder herself who stars as naru she genuinely just puts her heart into the role and naru is very likable despite if you find yourself not sold on the narrative completely mid thunder's emotional driven performance has a lot to do with that aspect the cinematography is incredible as mentioned there is constant feeling of danger in the atmosphere uh during night sequences the lighting is always just right objects are easy to identify because a lot of times during movies when they have night scenes you can't see certain things and it has nothing to do with your your tv settings or anything like that you just can't see it because of the t terrible cinematography at the time so outside of the breathtaking visuals constant tension building and mid thunder's wonderful performance prey only crumbles from its overuse of cgi paper thin characters and its questionable dialogue choices so it's basically a straightforward back to basics predator film that isn't anything overly special with the execution it just has a lot of qualities that kept it afloat for me and again the movie is again very entertaining it is featuring a fun it does have a great score that constantly adds a lot of emotion to certain aspects of it and you will be engaged throughout the majority of this movie given how it's fast paced and very hard hitting and straightforward and to the point it doesn't overstay its welcome there are just some aspects of it that i know people are not going to vibe with such as the dialogue and how repetitive it can be and how it seems like it's trying to oversell you on what these people think about Naru um, and other aspects like the CGI that's not going to age very well I enjoyed it it is one of my more favorable predator movies I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video